Hello there. Today we're back in Greenville taking a look at the top five most affordable car electric cars that you can buy. So these aren't all in order from the cheapest to you know like the mid-range affordable cars. I just chose the cars that I thought would have the most detail, look the coolest, and are still under forty thousand dollars. So let's start off here with the 2012 Celestial Type 5 or the 2012 Tesla Model S, which is the first production year of the Tesla Model S. For 2012, this thing is extremely futuristic. It looks very futuristic. The wheels aren't half bad. And the lighting is very good. Brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, running lights in the back, headlights, and then your turn signals in the front and the turn signals on the side and your horn. It also has automatically automatic emergency braking, which is very cool, and it doesn't drive too bad. Oopsies. <laughs> I'm stuck behind the fence. Alright, let's get her out onto the highway here. I, ha I do have the base trim of the Model S because it's under $30,000, which is very good. I believe it's like $27,000. And the top speed is 110 110-ish miles per hour, which isn't too bad. It's not wonderful, but it's not half bad for a car from 2012. And either way, this isn't really meant to be a full-on performance car like the new Model S Plaid. <laughs> this is supposed to be like the electric luxury car or the... Um, or the electric car that really got people introduced to electric cars. Yeah, it's overall not a bad car. It doesn't handle very good. It really just drifts every time you try and turn <laughs> turn at high speeds. But yeah, it's a pretty good car for under thirty thousand dollars. Next up on the list is the 2015 Navara Eco, which I had reviewed before, and. Very, very interesting startup, but here's your brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, running lights, headlights, and then your turn signals in the front, and the horn. Not very realistic lighting at all. And for 2015, this thing doesn't have automatic, automatic emergency braking either, which Tesla does. So, a little disappointing there from Nissan. But let's see what we can get here for the top speed on this thing. <laughs> struggling to get up to 90. And I think we're going to top her out top out at 95 miles per hour. Now we're going downhill, so I think 95 miles per hour is the top top speed of this thing. I don't think we can get any faster. Which, I mean, I guess it's not too bad. Electric cars were still being developed back in 2015 and 2012. But very far behind Tesla. Especially missing a lot of features plus this thing looks very bad and doesn't have the range of the Tesla you guys can see the battery is going down very quickly and it does handle a little better than the Tesla it doesn't try and drift every single turn you make so I mean overall for $8,500 less than $10,000 it's not too bad of a car. If you can get past the styling, especially in the rear there, it's not that bad of a car. Next up is the 2017 BKM Ziggy, which is a car I did not realize had such awful, awful lighting. Let me show you what I mean. So, hop into this thing. And, of course, standard 2017 BMW startup chime. But your lighting, brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, running lights, headlights, and then turn signals in the front, and your horn. This car is in desperate need of a refresh, 100%. This 2017 BMW i3 does have automatic emergency braking, which is good. And I don't quite remember the price on this thing. I think it's like $30,000. I know it's more expensive than the Tesla, and the Tesla is definitely cooler, 
somewhere around thirty thousand dollars now. Top speed is exactly 91 miles per hour, so less than the Nissan Leaf. Which I don't know how you can get much worse than Nissan Leaf. And I think the Nissan Leaf is definitely uglier. This thing looks a lot cooler than Nissan Leaf. The Tesla, so far, is the coolest looking car though. For sure. It doesn't handle too bad, I mean... It does drift sometimes. Yeah, I think these electric cars have a huge habit of drifting every time you try and turn them. Or handle, drive them hard. Because I think the weight is... These cars are so heavy because of the batteries that it's just... Hard to... Hard to get a smooth turn out of them. But yeah, same with this thing, the range is... I wasn't paying attention to the range on the Tesla, but... On the Leaf, you, you'll definitely be have to f charge... You're definitely going to have to charge this thing quite often. Because I'm almost down to half my range, and it's only been a couple minutes of driving. So, for less than $30,000, it's not too bad, but it's not the greatest. Although, it does have 3D lighting, which is very cool. Next up on the list is the 2022 Bitsy Classic E. This is one of the more modern cars on this list, of course. And this one starts at just under $40,000. And it gets okay range, but it's not fantastic. And here's your lighting, brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights. The reverse lights right now are broken, which is very disappointing. Headlights are very cool. I mentioned in a previous video these guys are 3D, which is cool. Turn signals on the front, and your horn, which is pretty good. This thing is slow. I think the Tesla is probably faster. No, the Tesla's not faster than this. It's slow when, until you get up to like 30 miles an hour, and then tops out at 92 mile per hour. Top speed is 92. 92. That's slow. That is very, very slow, especially for a modern electric car. This is a 2022 car. A 2012 car had, from 10 years ago, had a better top speed than the same. I don't know, it just seems a little off to me. But it definitely handles better than the Tesla, for sure. The Tesla is kind of all over the place, while this Mini Cooper is very planted. It does have some body roll, but it's very easy to control and very fun car to drive. Most of the time, the people who drive these things are in mean, 92 mile per hour. Although, this is the reason I actually sold this car, because I couldn't get it to go any faster than 90, 93 sometimes. 93 miles per hour. So, it's sad, but for under $40,000, it is definitely the coolest looking car on this list. It's not too bad of a car if you can sacrifice the 93 mile per hour top speed. And then finally we have the 2022 Chevron E-Current X, which is the brand new Chevy Bolt EUV in real life. This is the LT trim, which is the cheapest trim you can get for under $40,000. The startup chime. The startup chime is so boring. But let's take a look at your lighting. So you have brake lights. I mean, brake lights. Brake lights down here. Turn signals down there. Reverse lights at the bottom there. Uh, running lights, which are in an interesting place. Headlights up there. And then sequential esque turn signals on the front. They're not very smooth, but you do have mirror turn signals and the horn. <laughs> Again, this thing isn't very fast. It's not really that fast. Probably faster than the Mini Cooper, but it tops out at 95 miles per hour, which is still less than the 2012 Tesla Model S 10 years ago. Very, very disappointing, but... It definitely handles pretty good. I will say that. It handles pretty good. It does have a little bit of um, 
oversteer, especially at high speeds. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. The Mini Cooper is definitely the best looking car on this list. This thing is kind of interesting, especially in the front here. But it's definitely not the worst car on this list. I think the worst car on this list is either the um, the Leaf or the i3. One of those two. Those are definitely the worst cars on the list. But overall, this thing is not too bad for under $40,000. And if you're looking for any cheap electric car, these are the four electric cars that you guys can check out. There are other affordable electric cars like the fictional base model like 2012 tesla model 3 and stuff but i didn't really want to include those because those are fictional cars and i wanted to kind of stick to the scheme uh to the theme of real cars with that said though guys enjoyed this video if you did smash like button please consider subscribing go to the discord server i'm scared fancy the link will be in the description and the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out